Hey everyone, my name's Aaron, and this is a comparison between the Hudson Electronics Broadcast and the JHS Colorbox. I'm playing my 60th anniversary Telecaster through a Jackson Newcastle 18. Here's my clean tone. <laughs> Thank you. 
All right, so the broadcast and the color box. I've wanted to do this comparison video for a while. These pedals are kind of in the same family. They're in that uh, high-end uh, preamp type of uh, family and very popular right now. This broadcast is the 24 volt version. You give it a nine volt input, but it internally upscales the voltage to 24 volts. And I'm running the JHS on the recommended uh, 18 volts. Both sort of high voltage, high internal headroom um, kind of pedals. If you wanna see my full review of the JHS color box, click this link. Definitely go there if you wanna check out in more in detail all of the things the color box can do. But for this video, just sort of comparing the two, like apples to apples, like into an, you know, with a guitar into an amp in an everyday, you know, kind of setting. Right off the bat, I will say the biggest difference probably is the color box is like way brighter. And the broadcast is probably a little more transparent in the brightness and, and has a little bit more low end. I'll just show you if I play like my clean tone here. <laughs> That to me sounds like really balanced. There's not too much top end. There's not, you know, a crazy amount of low end. It's just like a nice, aggressive, clean tone. Kick on the broadcast. That's like a, uh, that's my favorite setting on the broadcast, but that's, that's just like a medium gain pushed version of that clean tone. It's just like boosting it, really high quality, like boost into my amp. Whereas uh, if I turn on the color box, I would say, yeah, not as much low end, more kind of icicle-like top. And also, if you listen, there's a little bit of background noise that it adds too. Um, and I have them on kind of a similar setting here. You know, maybe I'll get them like exactly the same. So the color box is kind of pushing maybe a little bit more gain or something. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if it has to do with the um, sort of the extra gain stage here. This EQ is an active EQ, which means it's sort of like another gain stage. A gain stage in a piece of gear is, is a spot where it's adding gain, you know. And so this has, you know, probably at least one more gain stage than the broadcast does. So maybe that's one reason for... Um, sort of the extra top end and and a little bit of extra noise. Um, I did notice, you know, when you turn on this high pass, which is something I didn't realize when I did the demo, um, even when you have the high pass all the way down, it's cutting low end just when you turn it on. Listen to this. There's like a lot less low end just turning it on even when it's not up at all. So just be aware of that. That's like significant. So if you do have the high pass on, you might want to compensate with a little uh, bass push uh, on the EQ section. Yeah, to get the color box um, sort of tonally where the broadcast is, I have to bring down the treble a fair amount, uh, maybe keep the mids where they are. Here's my clean tone. Color box and... Maybe push a little mids. Yeah, they're different beasts, honestly. The more I play the two, the less I actually think they're that much alike. I could sort of get them sounding like kind of similar when it was in that medium gain kind of territory. I think that's where you can maybe get the closest. But on the lower gain, I feel like the broadcast is just a lot more transparent and the JHS is kind of adding this like grindy thing. And then on higher gain settings especially, the color box um, definitely goes more into that, like plugging directly into a console sound. And the broadcast never quite really gets there. I would say the broadcast sounds more like a fuzz on its like highest gain setting. And it doesn't have that broken up, crazy, almost gated, like something's gone wrong sound. Let me just illustrate that quickly. So if I bring this step control all the way up 
and like my pre-volume almost all the way up and my master up quite a bit. Maybe turn my treble down a little, bass up a little, and leave this high pass off. And uh, turn on this color box, watch out. <laughs> That is definitely uh, very close to kind of that uh, broken up console kind of sound. Whereas if I try to do the same thing on the broadcast where I bring it to its highest gain mode over here and I crank the gain and I like crank the level. So this is like basically the craziest sound the broadcast can get. So that's like, it's much more clear uh, and much less like that crazy um, disturbing sound that you get from plugging, you know, straight into a, a Neve preamp or into a console. So the JHS does that better, definitely the wilder thing. I would say in general, the JHS is kind of wilder sounding. It's like more aggressive and it's wilder. It wants to like do more to your sound, whereas the broadcast is like that preamp thing. It's like a push thing, but it's sort of hyper tuned perfectly for like a guitar amp. So it, it's like, um, whereas the JHS has like a lot of crazy sounds in it, the broadcast doesn't have that many crazy sounds. It has more transparent sounds. It has more sort of immediately usable maybe guitar sounds. And yeah, when I was reviewing the color box, I, I got like a nice kind of lower gain sound, uh, but quickly from there, it started to move into like kind of crazy town. And again, I think that's what maybe the pedal is more suited for is those super pushed, more aggressive, like crazier sounds. Whereas I think the broadcast is more suited to um, a little more straight ahead, like rock just pushed like, best overdrive you've ever heard kind of uh, kind of sounds, but not it doesn't never really gets into that like, wow, that's weird sounding territory where the color box gets there like pretty quickly. So if that's what you're into, if you wanna you want to get crazy, you want it to sound like plugging straight into a console or you even want to do that, you want to come out of the XLR output you know straight into an interface, which you can do, I think the color box is like cooler for that. And the broadcast is probably more universally usable for like um, just like pop and rock music production. Both uh, really great, uh, really fun pedals. And, you know, there's not one that's better than the other one, but I would say they do quite different things. I would love to know what you think down in the comments below, or if you want uh, to ask me any questions specifically about these two pedals, would love to uh, answer them. That's going to be it from me today. We'll see you all next time.